welcome back to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. I'm your host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter, member of Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA, a vocal coach and actor. In this show, we review four categories of films, action, family, drama, and comedy. In this particular segment, this is the fourth segment of four segments, we're reviewing a comedy. Now, if you're on social media right now, you can come check us out at akexpertstv.com and see all of our segments, all of our shows, Amy Kardashian and the Experts, World of Book Reviews with Judy Morio, which is coming up next, and my show, Stephanie's Movie Reviews. Speaking of which, we have the creator, director, and producer of those shows right here in the studio right now. I'm yeah. talking of none other than Amy Kardashian, <laughs> my special guest today. Amy, well, no welcome. Thank you. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Happy New Year, Amy. Thank you. Thank it's you. Nice happy to have New you. Too. I, I, I feel that this year is going to be a fantastic year for many, many people, for everyone. Yes, yes. I think so, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. I think so, too. Yeah. So I, dr I dragged her some, to some movies again, <laughs> but yes. uh, I, I, don't, I know she, we're going to see less and less of Amy because she's going to be off and speaking and doing all sorts of wonderful things. But I'm, I just want to say, Amy, how grateful I've been to have you on the Aww. show and, um, you know, to have your input and have your insights and, uh, you know, just to help me get a kickstart to the show and yeah. it's just been amazing and I just appreciate you so much. Well, so. I, I thank you so much. I appreciate you because uh, you're amazing and, and uh, amazing talent and voice and everything and I'm just a lot of people. I'm receiving a lot of good feedback about uh, back about your show, oh, and a lot of great. people liking it, loving it, and loving your energy. So we're oh, that's I'm nice excited. I'm excited to have you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's very good. No, well, thank you. All right. Well, this particular <laughs> show uh, segment, uh, we reviewed a movie called Why Him. It's a comedy. It was released December 23rd, 2016. It's directed by John Hamburg. It stars James Franco, Brian Cranston, Zoe Dutch, Megan Mullally, Cedric the Entertainer, Griffin Gluck, Keegan Michael Key. It's rated R for strong language and sexual material throughout. It runs one hour and 51 minutes. And basically, it's in a synopsis is that Ned, played by Brian Cranston, plays this father that um, his daughter is dating this billionaire, Silicon Valley billionaire, unbeknownst to him, and she invites him out to his house for Christmas, for the holidays, and he's appalled to find out that this guy has no filter, is crude, and cusses a lot, and all this kind of thing, totally not at all what he sees for his daughter. And then he finds out, much to his dismay, that this guy wants to ask his daughter to marry him. And that's kind of the premise of the movie. Did I get it about right? Yeah, about right. <laughs> okay. Just about right. So, um, anyway, so, uh, wow. There were some moments in there when I was like, wow. <laughs> Me too. I was like, wow, okay, uh, <laughs> we're going to the next level here. Yeah, I, you know, I, sometimes I think like movies like this, if they weren't R, they'd be even funnier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, 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 I think the acting was pretty good. Yeah. The that, acting was yeah. really good. I think yeah. every one of them acted exactly uh, they what, you'd that, expect, what yeah. I was expecting. Yeah, you know, I, it just fits the role. They they're really perfect for it. Mm -hmm. And um, the the beginning of the sh the beginning of the movie it was like uh, this is a little bit too much for me uh -huh. <laughs> to handle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The cussing it's a little bit way over. Right. I think it's kind of like reminding me of when they do f uh, infomercials. They do something like oh this. This, this vacuum is gonna break if you don't buy this one is like too much too much of uh -huh. uh, over uh, over the top over the top yeah and uh, well I that's what I'm saying if like it if be, it, it's not reality to be that over the top right right you know? right well that's what I'm saying like well, it was a it? little bit over yeah, the top but yeah. there was no reason for it it, mm -hmm. it didn't have to have that it much it didn't add to the story no it didn't add to the yeah. story however I liked the um, the whole the whole movie. I mean, the yeah. whole movie was cute, mm -hmm. was nice. The acting was nice. Everything just a 
it, it didn't add like you said it just didn't add anything yeah they didn't yeah. add anything but the theater was full the theater was full it was full yeah i mean and you could hear there were a lot of laughs it was it there, was <laughs> funny at so many times there was I a scene too. there was one scene oh my gosh you know just make, not give a spoiler <laughs> just make sure make sure you go to the the you know you, you go to the bathroom before you go to the movie <laughs> just like <laughs> It was because some funny. It was part. really yeah, funny yeah. part. Yeah, like it was. Uh, yeah, the part in the bathroom. Yeah, I think in the beginning, in the beginning, was a little bit over the top. And yeah, it was like over I the said, top. It's yeah, not just, necessary. If yeah. they didn't have that, I think they get it open themselves to even more. I think so too. Uh, more people to watch. Because I think so too. I, I was. Un- That's what I'm saying. It didn't have it. to be R. No, it didn't. It didn't have to be R. No. It could have been open to a lot more because it kind of reminded. I mean, see a little bit cussing because then you're seeing the difference between yeah, this and this. Yeah. Without cussing at all, then yeah. there is no difference between families, between the father and the... But there's the, no contrast. Yeah, there is no contrast. Right. I can understand that. A little bit. I can understand a little bit. But sure. But it doesn't have to be that much. If your family, they don't cuss and some person cuss twice, mm-hmm. that's it. They mm-hmm. cuss. Mm-hmm. It, it, mm-hmm. We get the message we get the message about him cussing all the time and you know doing something like that or being wild just being a wild guy just being a wild guy like the tattoos yes like that was wild for them that was like for them it was wild it was wild it was like now this days is normal but yeah yeah, for for that family it was wild that alone for concertative family yeah it was wild yeah so yeah so did you come away with any lessons (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it was very really hard to come up with lesson with this one. Uh, um, if I stop and think about the lesson on this one is for family. Yeah. I would say what I got from it, I would say if, you know, talk to your kids and your kids are listening, they are listening. If you, what I felt, what I teach, lead with love and compassion. Sure. I, I, I felt the father and the mother, they were leading their daughter with love and compassion. And the results was very good in the end. I'm not going to give a spoil. Right. But I'm going to tell you, because of the way they led her, mm-hmm. it was, they didn't shut it down completely. They right. had patience. They mm-hmm. understand. They listen. And they led her to the end, and it was pretty good. Yeah. You know, I think that's a wise family. I know a lot of family, they do that. They talk to the kids, they understand, and they, t- you know, they listen. And then they say, hey, no, this is not, you're, you're passing the line here. Right. And, but in, with love, mm-hmm. which uh, I think it's pretty good lesson for parents. Because nowadays, days, you can't come against it. And uh, the way they used to do it in my time, they shut the door completely. And in a way that right away they shut it. You couldn't even tell your parents that. I'm going to introduce you to a guy like this. So before it was completely shut down. Now you're able to negotiate kind of. A right. Little bit. right. So I kind of like that communication with your kids. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. That's very good. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yes. I agree. I agree. Well, you know what the highlight for me was was, and I won't I try, try not. I try not to give spoilers on this show. Yeah. Uh, was at the end. I won't give the name, but there was pretty famous rock band singing Surprising. singing Christmas carols. Yeah. <laughs> was that not crazy? It was crazy. I was like, yes, that was. <laughs> Awesome! Mm-hmm. That was awesome. For me, that was the highlight of yeah, the, of, the uh, movie. Ter- uh, isn't that terrible? Yeah. That just like because you're a singer, it just, and it, just t- it touched know, my heart. Yeah. It touched my heart. And I felt the same way. I felt that was a good touch in the end. Yeah. To, to have something different and yeah. lighting it up a little bit with the family and everything. So yeah. I think, I think it. I think it's a good story. It's a good message. It's a good... Now, these days, a lot of families are dealing with that. The yeah. difference, you know, with generation. And her family did what many families that I know, they take their time and talk and talk and talk. They're not like 30 years ago. 
shut you down right away no even you mm-hmm. can't even tell them you're in love with somebody before right you couldn't even tell families before now we're more open and we're having uh, communication so keep keep it keep the good keep, work com- keep the communication <laughs> going yeah. yeah keep your communication going well I gave this movie a solid three popcorns because I felt like it was uh, it was a good solid holiday funny comedy I didn't think it was like the greatest movie ever but I thought it was, it was funny, funny. No, and it was, it was enjoyable yeah. and you know so and the acting was good so that's what I gave it three three uh, popcorns that's, yeah that's good three popcorns Very good. that's what I would do so anyway Amy on that. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to have you oh, on thank you always so much. Thank and you. I'm gonna miss you but I, I know, know you're gonna be doing great things and yeah. you'll be hearing all about it I'll be telling you about it and and we're really excited for you for 2017. Thank you, and I'm excited for you too. I know you're gonna take this one, take this show over, and then you're gonna fly with it. I have no doubt. Yeah. In 2017, you're gonna be your show. It's gonna be a hit. Thank you. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, have a fantastic, fantastic day or evening or wherever you are right now. Fantastic 2017, everyone, and we'll see you on the next show.